and I know many people don't like to do the networking, but it's, I, I, and I, when I was younger, I was a little uncomfortable myself, but what I've uh, learned over the years is it's also a great way, just, it's very interesting because you're getting to meet different types of people and it might not lead to anything, but you're meeting somebody new that's, that's pretty interesting. Uh, one individual asked with the 24 seven roles that you had in the past, how did you balance work and life and family? How did you manage it all? Well, I have to say I was always in a state of imbalance. <laughs> there's no, I, I don't believe it. Honest that <laughs> I don't think there's bal. I don't think you can be balanced, and but it's different because I think over time you end up being balanced, but you have peaks and valleys and sometimes work is going to be your highest priority and other times your family is going to be your highest priority. Well, people say to me, my goodness, you're busier than you were when you were CFO of National Grid. But what I say is, no, that's actually not the case. Because when you're a senior exec in a very large company, as probably many of the people that are listening in right now know, that is a full on 24 seven. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. And in fact, you know, somebody who's, um, you know, earlier in their career that asked for a coach, I think that that's really great. You're, you're asking somebody to help you, but you're going to be helping others too. And a lot of times through helping others, that actually might help you in some, you know, roundabout way that, that just things have a way of, you know, the circle of life comes back. Mm -hmm.